All right, today is Sunday, January 7th, you guys, and look at that. Man, we ate it hard today. Look at that Shogun slider. Look at that thing. The thing is, we just put this on. And look at my tires, man. Look at how slippery that was. There was like a, it was like 20 degree weather today. The snow just melted. They put some like stuff on the roads, but uh, some ice or salt or something. But yeah, there was black ice. I saw people slipping at the church. It was, I saw a guy, he had his coffee in his hand and he, he fell on his back and he threw the coffee on the black ice and he slipped on it. And I, uh, this was a low crash, like a 20 mile per hour one, but as you guys can tell, I'm going to have to spray paint this again, do some touch up here. Oh man, because I just, woo, look at that. I ate it there, there, a little bit on the handlebar here. Oh man, yeah, a little bit there on that handlebar. But yeah, that Shogun slider. That's another, you know, like 25 buck plus the spray paint, another $5. So that's like $30 plus the time and gas. I have to clean this sand off and we're going to use it again. But look at those tires, man. Look at those tires. Woo. I'm going to have to wash this motorcycle off too, because it's too slippery now to be riding in this you know, with the snow on the ground and the melted uh, sand or whatever they put this white stuff, chalky stuff that makes the road slippery. Ooh, Let's see if there's any more damage. Oh yeah, a little bit on the foot peg, a little bit there. We had a low crash today, low, oh man. Look at that, oh man, I'm gonna have to touch that up too. That foot brake ate a little. Ah. Uh, but you guys see, no fender damage. You see, it protected the fender. It's not the foot peg or the... The engine didn't get scratched or anything. Not that I see. Engine is still good. But yeah, we're just chilling, you guys. We're going to be reading our Bible today. Like that. All right, let's get inside. Let's get to reading our Bible. Come. Then turn this light on. Okay. Boom. Boom shakalaka. We are on. Reading book of Let's see what we're on today. Get these little salt and pepper shakers out of the way, the festive salt and pepper shakers. We are on the book of John still. We are reading chapter where we left off. Chapter 18, Book of John. Jesus arrested. Start with prayer in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. God, thank you for saving us another day. In your name we pray, Amen. Jesus arrested. When he had said this, Jesus went out and his disciples across the Kidron Valley to where there was a garden, into which he and his disciples entered. Judas, his betrayer, also knew the place because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas got a band of soldiers and guards from the chief priests and the Pharisees and went there with lanterns, torches, and weapons. Jesus, knowing everything that was going to happen to him, went out and said to them, Whom are you looking for? They answered him, Jesus the Nazarene. He said to them, I am. Judas, his betrayer, was also with them. When he said to them, I am, they returned they turned away and fell to the ground. So he again asked them, Who are you looking for? They said, Jesus the Nazarene. Jesus answered, I told you that I am. So if you are looking for me, let these men go. This was to fulfill what he had said. I have not lost any of those who gave me. I have not lost any of those you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it, struck the high priest's slave, and cut off his right ear. 
The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into its scabbard. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father gave me? So the band of soldiers, the tribune, and the Jewish guards seized Jesus, bound him, and brought him to Annas. First, he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had counseled the Jews that it was better that one man should die rather than the people. Peter's first denial. Simon Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. Now the other disciple was known to the high priest, and he entered the courtyard of the high priest with Jesus. But Peter stood at the gate outside, so the other disciple, the acquaintance of the high priest, went out and spoke to the gatekeeper and brought Peter in. Then the maid who was with uh, then the maid who was the gatekeeper said to Peter, "You are not one of this man's disciples, are you?" He said, "I am not." Now the slaves and the guards were standing around a charcoal fire and they had that they had made because it was cold and were warming themselves. Peter was also standing there keeping warm. The inquiry of before Anan Anan Annas. The high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and brought and about his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I have spoken publicly to the world. I have always taught in a synagogue or in, a, in the temple area, where all the Jews gathered, and in secret I have said nothing. Why ask me? Ask those who heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. When he said this, one of the temple guards standing there struck Jesus and said, Is this the way you answer the high priest? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken wrongly, testify to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Then Annas sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Peter denies Jesus again. Now Simon Peter was standing there keeping warm, and they said to him, You are not one of his disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the one whose ear Peter had cut off, said, Didn't I see you in the garden with him? Again Peter de denied it, and immediately the cock crowed. The trial before Pilate. Then they brought Jesus from Caiaphas to the praetorium. It was morning, and they themselves did not enter the praetorium in order to, in order not to be defiled, so that they could eat the Passover. So Pilate came out to them and said, "What charge do you bring against this man?" They answered and said to him, "If he were not a criminal, we would not have handed him over to you." At this, Pilate said to them. Take him yourselves and judge him according to your law. The Jews answered him, We do not have the right to execute anyone, in order that the word of Jesus might be fulfilled, that he said, indicating the kind of death he would die. So Pilate went back into the praetorium and summoned Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king. Jesus answered, You say I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into... into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice, Pilate said to him. What is what is truth? When he had said this, he again went out to the Jews and said to them, I find no guilt in them. Uh, I find no guilt in him. But you have a custom that I release one prisoner to you at Passover. Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? They cried out again. Not this one, but Barabbas. Now, Barabbas was a revolutionary. Chapter 19 will begin tomorrow on the book of John still. And we'll close with a prayer in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen, God. Thank you for saving us today. In your name we pray. Amen. Peace out. See you guys tomorrow. Ride safe out there in the snow, guys.